Hernandez and I'm really really grateful and happy uh, and I want to thank Martin and Sharon for this opportunity from Light Collective and especially the team of Formal Lighting for inviting me to this global gathering the second anniversary of women lighting and also to all the sponsors that make this initiative and this, and this dream come true. So as you know, uh, I live in Mexico City, Mexico, and I wanted to use this opportunity of this global gathering to talk to you a little bit about my country. I'm sure most of you um, have visited Mexico and some of you have heard about it, but well, we have amazing traditions, very, very lovely landscapes, delicious food, and especially I want to talk to you about the people. I believe people are uh, friendly, warm, and really, really hardworking, and I really love my country. So I just wanted to take some minutes to talk about Mexico and share this with you. If you ever want to come to Mexico, I, I will totally receive you with my arms wide open. So um, I also want to use this opportunity to talk to you a little bit about what I've been doing these years. Um, I have a 10 year experience in the lighting industry, uh, but the, five years ago, I decided to open my own consulting firm. And the first thing that came to my mind was, I remembered uh, when I was at the university, I, uh, I, I attended a conference, a Karim Rashid's conference. And uh, I remember how he was talking about how a designer can be uh, a problem solver, you know? Like uh, design can solve a lot of life issues for our clients, uh, from interior design, uh, industrial design. And I, I was like so inspired that, that I said, you know what? I, I want to be I want to be that kind of designer and and then when I specialized in lighting design I I wanted to be that kind of lighting designer so uh, my consulting firm it's it's focused mainly in lighting design and we integrate like different services uh, for example a lighting control design I believe lighting controls and lighting design right now must be always integrated by a team or by a person and coordinated because it's a must. Integrated design, it's a must right now. Lighting design, lighting controls, technology, and some of uh, other services I offer are like project management. Uh, sometimes my clients are like, uh, well, uh, where can I get these kind of features? Or, you know, I want this 
a beautiful, amazing Italian feature? How can I get it to Mexico? Or, you know, um, I, I hired a lighting control integrator and then you have your lighting design and, I, and I'm nervous because I don't know how is it gonna work. And then I'm like, you know, don't worry. Uh, we're gonna coordinate everything and we're gonna solve everything for you. And then you're just gonna have like the project to work. Uh, we were planning and we were dreaming of. So that's the, the, the kind of services we offer. Um, well, in the last years, I have also focused and it has become like very important for me to talk about sustainability. I believe it has become important to talk about for, for everyone. So um, sustainability and wellness, like people focused project has become uh, something I, I really, I really wanted to, to, to know more about. So um, I definitely believe aesthetics, sustainability and wellness are key concepts to be included in all of our projects. In order to achieve this kind of integration, uh, aesthetics, lighting design, sustainability, wellness, um, I have done some research and I have studied some certifications, uh, like for example, uh, the LEED certification, which is a very, very top-notch certification for sustainable buildings. This certification, it's by the US Green Building Council, and it has a different approach because they talk about water efficiency, indoor environmental quality, energy efficiency, material selections. So uh, they have a very integrative approach and energy efficiency is very important. So they give us all the guidelines we need and I had to like memorize all the international uh, regulations and the national regulations, obviously. <laughs> so um, this was very, um, I learned a lot from, from this, this certification. And also lately I have been studying about the world certification by the International Well Building Institute. They also have an approach in different areas like air, water, nourishment, light, fitness, comfort, mind. And the most important thing is uh, how light affects people, right? And they have partnered with different light researchers and we have, uh, they have talked with um, a lot of uh, professional people and they are integrating all this information on how light really affects people in the built environment. And um, this has, uh, this is very interesting. And it, this has given me like a lot of information to implement best practices for my projects, which is what I, I also wanted to talk to you about. And my philosophy also, my, my design philosophy is that once you realize uh, light is so important for the planet and for us, because we belong to, to this planet. So, so then you realize light it's really the essence of life, you know, in a very, very natural way. So if light in a very natural way is the essence of life, then uh, I believe light should be the essence of all of our projects. So, you know, I, I really enjoy to, to, to focus on this, 
little light moments, like when light is there for me, like when I wake up and I have a cup of coffee and, and it's like really, really warm coffee. And, and then I get, and I feel the sun and it's, it's, it's like a very nice moment for me that involves light, like this special personal moment with light. So I realize the essence of light. It's very, very important. So I investigated a little bit more about the word essence. And the word essence comes from learning essential, which means the true nature of anything or the substance of everything. So I, I really think this describes what light is for me, you know, uh, in these moments when, when, as I was telling you before, like in these moments when I drink my coffee and it's like really warm and I feel the sun or uh, when, when I'm having like a little nap uh, with my dog or with my pet and enjoying the sun. So actually light is there every day, every moment. It's a companion. It's, it's always there for me. That has become a really important part of my life, you know? Uh, even in the most uh, contemplating moments, uh, like when you contemplate like your reflection in water or when you're enjoying this sunset, admiring the sunset, the colors like the pink in the sky, the oranges. So um, I really believe these sensations that you feel, that we feel with light in nature are the kind of sensations we should implement in, of, in all of our projects. You know? And even the, the, um, the moments, like these kind of moments, uh, every space has to have a light moment. So that's also my, my, my design philosophy, that light is the essence and the companion of all of our moments and all of our projects. So uh, I wish I could tell you about all the projects I've been working on, but I had to choose some. Um, and I, I hope you, you find this uh, interesting and informative and inspiring. I, because every day I wake up and every day I go to work and every day I find a client. I, I feel so inspired by, by every project. Like each team, each client has the personality, a way of working and things we can do are amazing. So every day I wake up, it's a different day and every day I feel so inspired and for every project I have, I. It is, it's as, as exciting as the first one. So uh, the first project I want to tell you about is a project in corporate and banking. Uh, this project is an amazing project. It's 30,000 square meter approximately. Uh, key concepts are we use LED lighting, obviously, in the project. So there's a lot of energy savings. There's a centralized lighting control system. So we have occupancy sensors, daylight harvesting, um, dimming, and we all obviously, and we are obviously caring about comfort and design with all of our projects. Um, for this project, we also offered services of project management and project supervision. And this was like amazing for the client because at the end the project uh, ended up just like we wanted. 
Uh, another part of another project I want to talk to you about is corporate and private office. This project is uh, EQV in Mexico. This is a private client and we work with Gensler Architects in both projects I have talked to you about. And the key concepts are um, for this project, especially it's personalized, personalized lighting features because uh, we had to find like um, the, the special LED and the special width and everything. Uh, it was um, a lot of coordination with manufacturers and it was like amazing to work with them also, especially like this is the what this is the, the the land we we want, but this is like the luminous looks we want, and these are the light levels we want. So there was a lot of coordination involved, and also understanding what the architect wanted. Um, a lot of uh, dynamic design, and this was like a, a very interesting. Tool. Uh, project to work with too. Um, another project I want to talk to you about is uh, this project is a meditation building, which is amazing because we don't have a lot of meditation buildings in Mexico. Uh, we were hired by the end user, which is Tec Monterrey, the university. Um, it's amazing, like to have a meditation building um, for, for all their students, like they can go there and relax and breathe and like, you know, free their mind. It's, it's amazing how, how, how this building works and, and how this university has thought about how things should be working towards well, you know, like personal, focused uh, design. So uh, we had to understand the, the project needs, what, the, what they wanted, like the architect needs, because he's a very, very, very uh, interesting and amazing architect. And we also had to understand the, the client needs just to give the correct recommendations for all these uh, effects you're seeing there with the niche and the light. And, and then we had to help them with the landscape design. And um, there was also project management follow-up. And, and a lot of, like I, I like to say it's lighting consulting, you know? It's lighting design, but there are like so much more things. Um, oh, this is a very, very amazing project. I also want to talk to you about this is in the Highland retail luxury area. And we designed together with uh, design with a designer in Paris. Well, actually, we helped the designer in Paris. Um, because he, he already had the concept, like all the light concept for the, for the stores. And we, we decide, well, we help him to, to, or help the team to design like all the stores with solutions for the country. So, uh, this project was like very special because, uh, there was a very big team involved uh, the end user which was Cartier and the architects which were Gentler architects and then we had the the designer in Paris and then we had the design team of the manufacturers team in in Italy and then we had the manufacturer manufacturing team in Hong Kong and it was uh, a lot of coordination to do uh, because we had to talk to the architect in Mexico of how things work and some other uh, of how things had to, to be done with the engineers and how um, things had to be adjusted, you know, because in Mexico we have different voltage than in Europe. Europe it's 220 and have one 
20 voltage, 127. So, uh, and there were some installation issues we had to solve that involved uh, a little bit of redesigning because uh, um, there were a lot of cough lighting and the country cough lighting sometimes it's it's solved in one way and we, we wanted to solve it in another way. So it, it, it was uh, a lot of design coordination involved, but it was, for me, it was a lot of learning, um, especially from the lighting designer and from the lighting designer and the team. And we also offer the services of project management and project supervision for this project. So we just had to make sure the stores ended up like we actually imagined them. So, you know, you, you, you might not know what I'm talking about when you, you know, like how you, you have to make sure how everything's gonna work. And that's what we do. <laughs> so um, this was a very special project. And um, almost the last project, I promise, uh, I want to talk to you about. It's a large scale project we worked last year. This is an airport project. It's in, also in Mexico, in, in our country. And for this project, which uh, the client is confidential in this case, but the architect is FGP Architects. They are in Chicago. It's an amazing uh, architectural firm, amazing team. And this project is approximately 250,000 square meter. It was uh, a very good challenge for me. And the idea was to develop a conceptual design for the client and to finally develop some, some, some ideas, some schematic lighting design ideas, but then uh, talk about um, spec sheets and also let them know about the importance of lighting so they could actually, at the end, get the project they are looking for. So we developed another stage of the project, with, which was um, design development. And this is like an, um, a part of the project where we developed so much more information for it, uh, like all the specific solutions, specific lighting features, light concepts, lighting plans, lighting calculations, technical specs, and all the things we had to, to share with the client. Always about, uh, always um, following the guidelines that I told you, like sustainability and, uh, and uh, uh, wellness, you know, and, and all these ideas we have. Um, and this was also an amazing project because we, we had to model it in private. It, it involves some beam modeling. So, so this is what we have learned, you know? Technology, it's there, and we just have to catch up, you know? It's like, there's like 3D modeling, the lighting controls, lighting design, and so much more information about investigation, uh, certifications. And I always care about get as much information as I can for all of my projects. So I can definitely give my clients the best service and the best solution I can give them. So, the last project I want to show you, it's very important for me and for, for, for the team I'm working with. Uh, this project, which is uh, Losing Fronteras, which means light without borders, this project, uh, uh, which uh, the mission of this project is 
to encourage social welfare experiences through light. And uh, one year ago, I founded this project together with another founders, Cristina Escofet, Oriana Romero, and Brenda Castillo. We are four designers, amazing women, that, and we are working together to help all these people uh, to, to access, you know, the, this kind of services, this kind of uh, uh, approach we can get. And um, Losing Fronteras Mexico, Life Without Borders. Mexico is a branch of LSLF in France. And their team, it's uh, Isabel Corten from, from Belgium. She's the president. And there's uh, Rafael Giwa, he's from France and he's living in Chile. And it's a, an amazing team. And they have an amazing team that are working together um, towards this mission. And we are learning from their methodology to, to use it in Mexico and Latin America to help these people in these communities with these kind of projects. And the methodology is very interesting, which is like uh, meat. That's the first step, a very respectful mate, and then observe, which involves a night march, and then consult, transmit, obviously, ex obviously experiment, which we have we have been experiment experimenting as you can see, and at the end, um, make and light up. This is an amazing project from. from one of the founders uh, that we can see now. So uh, I hope we can help more people through this project. This is a non-profit organization, and we are looking. We are always looking for for help. So if you are interested, please contact us. If you have some uh, non-profit. Uh, this kind of projects in Mexico or, or Latin America. And just to finish, uh, I want to tell you that uh, I believe we live in perfect harmony with and from light. And nature has given us the light experience we must live by. So this is my philosophy. These are my projects. I really, really want to thank this initiative Women in Lighting, Light Collective, Formal Lighting, um, FOSS Lighting, and all the sponsors to give me this space to talk about all these projects. And there's my email, a Hernandez at hhc.design in case you want to send me some information or share some ideas. I'm totally open and I'll be there. Thank you very much. I hope you like it. Bye-bye.